putting together um, our servo bracket for the point motor. So these are the this is the bracket. This is um, micro switches, and there's loads of screws and bits in there. And this is what it looks like once done. So the nine gram servo. Uh, there's two screws which hold that with the washers and then that that's the motor the servo connected to the bracket we then make up the micro switch board which sits here and then there's two black spacers which hold it with two longer bolts um, off the bracket so when the point changes as you can see on here we're using the the wire which is actually moving the point to change the micro switches uh, but you could use, if you'd left the star on here, you could have used the end of the arm to move the micro switches and turn them on and off. We can adjust these, if we loosen these off we can slide the micro switches in, out, change the angle, um, whatever you want really. Um, you can easily move it up and down. So all the slotted holes are in here, we can also align the, the servo, the uh, connection points there are also slotted. You don't have to mount the servo this way up, but this is how you would do it for point control. So if you actually look at the servo, the uh, the shaft that comes out the, is it towards the top of the servo, not the bottom. If you wanted to use the bracket so it wasn't under the baseboard uh, to control the um, <coughs> turnout, you could have it on its side or upright like that, and then you might want the servo another way around to suit your needs. Um, so yeah, there's loads of different ways to uh, utilise this bracket. Um, so the <coughs> this is the components to connect up the uh, uh, micro switches. So this board is in this kit. So you mount everything off this. Uh, these two holes here is where the longer bolts go through with the plastic uh, spacer in. Okay, so this board there's just the two shorter uh, flat headed screws, um, and if you can see, I put two washers behind a washer behind the, the nut, um, that just helps it grip to um, stay tight, so it puts a bit of pressure on the back of the nut, um, and then obviously, you want to align the micro switches where you want them. So, once you've made that and you've got your bracket, I'll try and show you this. Let's try and... the bracket so the first thing we do is get the, um, the servo which we supply with them he then sits in the, the back and I'm showing it the wrong way up but obviously when it's in use it's, it's this way up so the first thing we do is get the screws that go through from the serve through the servo through the bracket right, that's all in this little kit There's the two, so there's some long ones and some shorter ones. Okay, the longer ones, there's two of them um, per board, they're for the spacers. So if we just, I've got one to copy here, so it's, it's a bit, obviously a bit easier. Uh, there's some flat washers. So you put a washer. Um, through the hole and through the servo, you see that, and then put the nut on the back, and then that's secured that, so I have to put the nut on the back, and just drop the washer, So there's these two spacers here. If you can see on the one I've already done, the spacers here go between the micro switch board and the bracket. Okay. So you want some of the there's two longer ones of these. 
So you put them through the board, like so. Don't worry about them wiggling around. You can adjust it when you've got some tension on the back of the nut. So, and you've got the board with the two spaces on, okay? And then that then in turn mounts to the front of the bracket. I leave everything fairly just loose to the end so you can align it as you want. So now you can see that. So again, we put a washer and a nut on the back. One washer. One nut. If I don't drop it. That's one. By leaving the um, servo loose, obviously you can push it out of the way when you do the nuts up. Um, just a little screwdriver uh, to turn the front of it and if you hold the nut with your fingers on the back it uh, works fairly well. Okay, so now we have the switch, it's all loose but you've got the switch mechanism for you can use it to do your, your frog polarity or so one could do that. One you could use as a feedback message to say yes, the turnout has definitely thrown. So if you would, had a mimic panel and you wanted to have a light to show that the um, the turnout had thrown or to set a route on a mimic panel, you could do that. Or you could use it as a feedback. So with computer control, you could use it to light up a feedback contact. Um, and then the, the computer software would know uh, the, the state of that turnout. Um, that's obviously taking it to a level that some of you may like to do um, and some of you may not, um, each to their own. Uh, but yeah, this, so this will accommodate all your needs. So basically, yeah, that's, that's how you put it together. Obviously tighten it up um, to suit your situation. Um, and then you can put the, the armature on the servo. Um, I don't put the screw in until after I've centred it, the servo, to power it up, but obviously that would go that would go in there. Just tighten this up a bit and show you. And tighten the other side up. Okay, and then you've you, you've got your your server, and you can see because this one I haven't cut off. This arm will, you could set up to switch the micro switches. Okay, so yep, we've got these all in stock. Um, very cheap way to add um, point motors with frog control. Um, yep, they work a treat. Um, I've just used here some uh, wire uh, to, to change the point. Um, fishing supplies, uh, it's a part of making a lure up, I think. Um, yep, very cost effective way to do point control.